More than half of the world's UFO sightings happen over water. Many of these phenomena are seen bursting from the ocean into the sky. 95% of the world's oceans still have yet to be explored, so there's no telling how much alien activity there may be within its depths or what they may be planning. Do aliens lurk in our oceans? And if so, what are they doing? Are they using the ocean's impenetrable depths to hide their bases? Tonight, we go deeper than ever before to expose the growing threat of unidentified submerged objects. On Unsealed, Alien Files. A global effort has begun. Secret files hidden from the public for decades, detailing every UFO account, are now available to the public. We are about to uncover the truth behind these classified documents. Find out what the government doesn't want you to know. Unsealed, Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Los Angeles, June 14th, 1992. Emergency lines are flooded with reports of UFOs in the night sky over Santa Monica Bay. But the objects didn't enter the city's airspace from above. Multiple witnesses claim to have seen a fleet of UFOs rising out of the ocean and shooting into the sky. One UFO sighting is unusual. An entire fleet, extremely rare. The city of Los Angeles is famous as the movie capital of the world. But over the last few decades, it's been gaining a much different reputation. Thousands of sightings are being connected to California's coastal waters, and the implications are disturbing. We live on land, so it's logical for us to assume any visitors to Earth would be based on land as well. But is it possible the UFOs plaguing Los Angeles are actually unidentified submerged objects coming from beneath the sea instead of the sky. And if they are USOs, what are they doing below the surface? Unsealed case file, the missile incident. On November 8, 2010, a mysterious object came out of the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California and seemingly streaked towards the sky towards space. No one could identify or could see what this object was. And when the military was questioned about it, they had no idea either. Frightened onlookers fear the U.S. was under attack from missiles fired by a hostile submarine. City officials turn to the military for an explanation, but none is forthcoming. The U.S. Navy reports there were no foreign subs firing missiles and also confirms there was no friendly fire. To this day, neither the military nor the public can explain where the crew's missile-shaped object came from. Decades of unexplained sightings have left experts wondering if there may be an alien base somewhere nearby. Compelling evidence of an alien colony would surface in 2010 in the form of a National Science Foundation photo of the seafloor. This image shows massive domes deep on the ocean floor, some as big as two football fields. The National Science Foundation reports that the domes are dormant volcanoes that may have a hollow center. Some experts believe if underwater aliens wanted to have an undersea base, these domes would be ideal. And this colony may have existed long before human settlement in the area. The undersea dome's estimated age could be as much as 40,000 years. For centuries, the world's oceans have been associated with legends and mysterious sightings. Coming up, a visit to the Atlantic Ocean to investigate the world's most infamous USO hotspot, the Bermuda Triangle. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Los Angeles is under siege by unidentified submerged objects, or USOs, that emerge from the ocean in front of panicked onlookers. But the coast of Southern California is just one of many USO hotspots. 
Puerto Rico, October 8, 2002. A glowing red object bursts out of the ocean at incredible speed, hovering for several minutes before diving back into the water. Experts consider the UFO extremely unusual for several reasons. It emerged from the ocean, which is rare, but then it stopped and hovered for some time. The UFO also behaved as if not afraid of being attacked. Puerto Rico is known as one of the world's most active UFO hotspots, to the extent that one of the island's major highways was recently renamed the Ruta Extraterrestre, or UFO Highway. But are Puerto Rico's UFOs really USOs? And if they are, do they have a nearby undersea base? A map reveals that Puerto Rico lies at the southern corner of the world's most infamous ocean expanse, the Bermuda Triangle. Christopher Columbus, who saw a strange light in the area, made one of the first sightings on record. For centuries, there have been countless reports of ships and aircraft disappearing mysteriously or encountering strange phenomena. One Bermuda Triangle incident remains the biggest case of possible mass abduction in history. Unsealed case file, Flight 19. December 5th, 1945. Five US Navy Avenger torpedo bombers carrying 14 crewmen take off on a routine training mission over the Bermuda Triangle. But partway through the flight, radio transmissions between the planes reveal that something is very wrong. Flight 19 reported that they suddenly didn't know where they were. They didn't know what they were seeing. Everything looked a different color. They reported things were just white. Compasses were spinning wildly, and then they lost contact with the outside world. Flight 19 disappears off the radar screen. The Navy immediately launches a flying boat on a search and rescue mission. But this too disappears, along with 13 crewmen. A passing ship reports seeing a mid-air explosion and finding an oil slick, but no bodies or wreckage are ever found. What happened to the men of Flight 19 and the rescue plane that followed? Many experts wonder if the Avenger bombers really did crash. Why did the rescue plane sent out to find them also mysteriously disappear? To this day, Many in the UFO community continue to believe the tragic journey of these pilots may have turned into a close encounter of the third kind, an alien abduction. If these iconic events are to be believed and a UFO interfered with the airplanes and abducted the pilots, then this event would go down in infamy as the largest UFO abduction in history. Did aliens abduct the men of Flight 19? Or was something else at work? Near the end of World War II, American fighter pilots were encountering floating balls of light called Foo Fighters, after the French word feu, or fire. Experts could not identify the lights, but thought that advanced enemy technology was being observed. However, the enemy was seeing the exact same thing. Many experts believe the Foo Fighters to be of extraterrestrial origin. To this day, experts have been unable to identify who or what type of technology created the Foo Fighters. Did Foo Fighters attack Flight 19? And could they be USOs operating from an underwater base like the ancient structures found off Southern California? The Bermuda Triangle has long been considered a possible location for the lost city of Atlantis. Atlantis was allegedly swallowed by the ocean in a giant cataclysm about 10,000 years ago. It is thought to have been home to an otherworldly civilization. Some experts believe aliens have been on planet Earth developing societies for thousands of years and that they created the Atlantean civilization. Could Atlantean descendants still be living in the depths of the Bermuda Triangle? And are they responsible for decades of USO phenomena? Coming up, 
we reveal the shocking details of real reports of USO abduction. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Unidentified submerged objects are reported to be rising from undersea bases off the coast of the United States. Many hover for a few moments, only to disappear into thin air. Other USOs are said to have a darker purpose. Shag Harbor, Nova Scotia, October 4th, 1967. Five friends are driving along a coastal highway at night when they spot a bright object approaching a nearby harbor. They then hear a loud whistle like that made by a falling bomb, followed by a loud bang. The group stops and gets out of the car to take a closer look. They see a large object floating approximately 1,000 feet offshore. The group assumes they have just witnessed a plane crash and immediately contacts authorities. Their story is confirmed by at least six other independent witnesses. 30 minutes later, local fishing boats arrive on the scene, but they find neither wreckage nor any bodies. The next morning, authorities confirm that all known aircraft in the area are accounted for. The Shag Harbor object is classified as a UFO. The Royal Canadian Navy dispatches a team of divers who comb the area waters for three days, only to come up empty-handed. The case is officially considered closed. But according to other reports, the Shag Harbor story doesn't end there. A military witness later reveals that the object was originally spotted on radar over Siberia and tracked all the way to Canada's east coast. There it submerged and followed the shoreline north where it was joined by another object before disappearing. The rendezvous site was monitored for another three days by both the American Air Force and Navy but the results of this search remain unknown. There's always a discrepancy between what the military tells you it knows and what the military really knows. In 2008, America's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, better known as DARPA, announced that it was beginning work on a flying submarine. The stealth aircraft will be able to approach an enemy coastline at lightning speed, submerge, and complete the journey underwater. Once there, it can deploy a special forces team completely undetected. Could this new aircraft be the product of reverse engineered technology recovered from the Shag Harbor USO? And could these USOs have been responsible for the disappearance of Flight 19 in the Bermuda Triangle? But what is the fate of the disappeared? Where are the abductees taken? One man claims to have an answer. Unsealed case file, Filiberto Cardenas, Miami, January 3rd, 1979. Filberto Cardenas is driving with three friends when his car engine fails. He gets out to check the engine. Suddenly, a massive UFO appears over the car. The passengers watch in horror as it shines a blinding beam of light at Cardenas, pulling him inside. The UFO then vanishes, taking the terrified motorist with it. Two hours later, Cardenas is found by a police officer 16 miles from the abduction site. But according to the victim, he had traveled much farther. Cardenas reports the craft was manned by three human-like aliens who flew him to a rocky stretch of coast, which opened into an undersea tunnel. The aliens spoke Spanish, warning Cardenas of future wars and disasters that will threaten humanity. At the end of the tunnel, the USO arrived at a massive underwater city. There, Cardenas met another human abductee, who claimed to have been living with the aliens for years. Cardenas claims the aliens then conducted a series of medical experiments on him. A later medical examination reveals over 100 needle marks on his body. Miami sits at one corner of the Bermuda Triangle. Did the USO take Filberto Cardenas to the undersea base that has threatened the region for decades? 
Is this the fate of all who disappear in the Bermuda Triangle? And is this the only USO base abducting humans? Unsealed case file. The Mantis People. Los Angeles, June 14th, 1992. The notorious UFO hotspot experiences one of the biggest mass sightings on record, with multiple reports of dozens of unexplained lights in the sky. UFO investigator Preston Dennett conducts a series of interviews with those who called the authorities that night. In the process, he gets much more than he bargained for. Eyewitnesses describe chilling close encounters in which they either had missing time, a face-to-face -face encounter, or an abduction experience. But unlike other abduction stories, these have a unique twist. Independent ufologist Preston Dennett reports on how some abductees were taken underwater. Quote, one gentleman was abducted off of Catalina Island with his friend, and he described how he was taken to this underground area and that there were praying mantis type ETs. It's a radically different species than the humanoid aliens described by Filberto Cardenas in the Bermuda Triangle. Most abduction reports are about different versions of the gray type ET. Short, large gray eyes, white skin, the praying mantis type ET is a rare sighting. If these reports are true, multiple alien species are operating from bases at the bottom of the ocean. And in the case of Southern California, this threat could be bigger than anything humanity has ever faced before. USO experts believe there are so many reports off California's coast that the notion of a massive hidden underwater base may be a definite possibility. Coming up, we reveal the possible source of unidentified submerged objects. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. The time to act is now. Tell us your story. Get involved in the fight to unseal the truth now. Unidentified submerged objects are rising from the world's oceans. Planes disappear above the infamous Bermuda Triangle, never to be seen again. Abductees report terrifying encounters with a praying mantis-type alien species, leagues below the ocean's surface. These incidents are becoming impossible for governments to debunk, but we may not need them to. The proof may be right in front of our eyes. The question is, are we too late? Many experts have identified a series of dome-like structures off the coast of Southern California as an underwater alien base. Others, however, have an even stranger explanation for their purpose. Many UFO experts believe the California domes, 7,000 feet down, may in fact be an underwater portal. A portal is a hole in the fabric of space and time, through which alien spacecraft can travel unimaginable distances in an instant. If there is a portal off the coast of California, then Earth could find itself at the mercy of an alien horde at any moment. The fascinating thing is it might mean there's an underwater base in the Pacific Ocean, or in Santa Monica Bay, or in the Redondo Trench off Southern California. That has tremendous implications, because when people say, how do UFOs get back and forth from outer space? The answer is, they don't. They're right here in LA. Could these new sightings be a warning sign that at any moment, aliens could burst from coastal waters and rise again? This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth.